Hi, welcome to another Guanaki update video. My name is Uni Berg and I live here. It's been a little while since my last update video, so let's cover all the good things that have happened since that video. It has taken time and a lot of effort, but now I feel that Guanaki is getting back on its feet again. More and more homes are getting restored, both local and second homes. When the second homes are being restored, some of them are vacation rentals. So we are getting the tourists back now, which is a great thing because it almost feels a little bit like it was before the hurricane. So uh, what's new on Guana since last time? The fig tree platform has been rebuilt with its own little dinghy dock. So it's actually a lot better than before. All that thanks to help from a construction company and a dock builder and architect and donations from near and far. Not the least from a concert that Barefoot Man and CNB band had in Florida to raise the money for this exact purpose. Four local families have reason to be especially happy because they have received a brand new home for free. So that has been awesome for them. So the same organization has made a playground in the harbor. We have gotten a brand new grocery store. Hey everybody, welcome to the new grocery store Rig One. And I miss everybody, but don't worry, we'll be back with Nippers shortly. Hey, good afternoon, ladies, gents. My name is Forrest Pender, owner and entrepreneur of Kids Cove. So as you can see, we're starting Kids Cove 2.0 back. We also have a new liquor store in the harbor. Construction is going on at full speed and new houses just pop up. It's so fun to see. Most of the debris from the hurricane is now gone. Second homeowners, they had, had to pay for it themselves. Otherwise, uh, an organization have paid for that. And that same organization has also paid for our ferry dock. Dive one is open and ready for business. Uh, we have four rental boats in the water. We have dive trips and snorkel trips, rental golf carts, 
rental homes available and uh, we're ready for you guys to come down and enjoy the Abacos again. I'm not gonna lie, it has been a pretty sad and depressing time these two years since the hurricane. But since we got power restored to the island in the beginning of this year, it everything feels a lot better and less depressing. Even if the power is out one or two days every week, it's still better than nothing. People have donated money, time and effort into getting Guanaki back on its feet again. So many people have helped. Not only have the locals helped themselves, but they've also gotten help from second homeowners, from Baker's Bay and from organizations that have been awesomely generous from the first moment. And how does it feel to be here now? It's almost a little like before the hurricane and I'm so happy to be able to say that. When you go to Grabbers you see tourists are back. They're enjoying themselves, drinking, eating, going boating, snorkeling, spear fishing. Clearly there's hope for the island and some of the things are coming back even better than before. Grabber's Bar and Grill has been open for a long time and it's a very nice spot to enjoy lunch, dinner or drinks. This is the cone shop out on the water, so yes, please do come on down and hey, we, we try our best to serve you the best way we can, don't you? And I do hope you do come again. And things are looking much better, so I think we will get there in the end. If you are contemplating visiting Guanaki again, now is the time. So welcome back to Guanaki. Yeah.